solid waste of one million sixty-five thousand seven hundred seventy-nine. Second. Is that right, Christy? It is. Yes. The number just changed though, because you changed That's that right. number. Yeah. One gonna take one minute. So what is it gonna be? Can you give us the correct number? One million sixty-five thousand seven seven nine. That's one zero six five seven seven nine. No, she's got to change no, it. It's going to be one million. One million fifty-eight dollars, fifty-eight thousand five hundred and seventy-nine. Okay, so I move one million fifty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-nine. Yes. Thank you, Christy. Thank you. Now we can go back to. Okay. Now you can go back to transportation, but now you've done it in the same order you've done all the other ones tonight. Okay. Yeah, so transportation account waste time looks to be eight thousand higher uh, at one fifty three k than justified. Again, that goes back to the waste hauling is in the process of putting out to bid, so we have to carry that amount to make sure that we cover any increases that will come out of that bidding process. So you buffered it. You're, you're, you buffered yourself. Yeah. I'm expecting in both cases those costs to increase. Yeah, you've been running 134. 2014 annualizes 115. <clears throat> now you're coming at 153, and that's a buffer, you're saying. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a big buffer. And when will you know, Keith? Uh, I hope to have the bids out within a month, so we should know within a month and a half. This year? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know about this uh, year, maybe right after the first year. It's kind of tough to do bidding around the holidays. Have you known that we needed to put this out to bid? Relatively recently, because we're waiting for the solid waste district that we're getting out of put out a bid for uh, disposal sites. And even though we're getting out of the <coughs> district, they put a provision in there that Hampton can tack on to their pricing, which actually benefits them. And they just had their bid opening about a month ago. And I just had a meeting last Wednesday night with the district to finalize the results. So I had to find out what our disposal site costs, uh, disposal options would cost before then I get into the hauling aspect of it. <coughs> because I needed to know who bid, so now I know there's four bidders for that, now for, for where we can have options to all, to, I mean, to dispose of the trash. So now I can include all four of those in options for hauling our material. Is he go main bidding on that? Yes. Okay. Okay. Anything else to offer on this section? Mike, questions? The only thing is the cost of living again. If that's been in every budget. Every budget, yeah. right? It's in the on the 531 there on page 115. Yep. Yeah. Increase 571, right? 571. Am I on the right page? Uh, page 115. Yeah, Michael, where are you? Off the top, mm -hmm. the top line there. Waste tipping fee, low. tipping fee, tipping fee. Yeah. yeah. It went up one, no, one point five percent. It's not cost of living. It's the CPI. CPI, right? So how did we get a five seven one? Have more trash to it? No, as I said, I had to build in a. Well, if you look at the actual for mm -hmm. two thousand and thirteen, was five forty seven mm -hmm. or five forty eight. So I, I, yeah. I put in the 1.5 percent that I know, and okay. then I just averaged it out to 555. But also I put a slight buffer in there, knowing that or theorizing that the cost will probably go up when we go out to bid. What is that going out to bid? 
I'm working on the bid right now. Okay, that's big. is that hand in hand with the hauling? Hand in hand with the hauling? So no, I'm, I'm sorry. I, now I'm getting confused. Mike was talking. I'm putting out the bid for hauling. Hauling. Mm -hmm. We've already had a bid through the district for the disposal site. Mm -hmm. So the bid for hauling is going. That's what I'm working on okay, right but now. You were talking about dipping fees, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. So how, Mike says, how'd you get it? Five fifty-five. Because I built in a buffer, buffer not knowing too. exactly where what the. We don't know who we're going to go with with a um, disposal site. We have four options. Right. All have different pricing structures right. set up. Yeah. So then you have to mesh that against four different, possibly four different haulers, for example. Absolutely. And try to come up with the best. And deal. then I also have to add in there the fact that we have our own trailers and getting a hauler. It's, it's extremely complicated. It's I understand that, and I appreciate that. And I, I, that's all I have. It, so you just really want to make sure you have enough yeah. to sort of Thank cover you. the basis. I, I'm all set with that. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Could I say? Okay. Joe? Sonny? Set. Okay. <clears throat> Just real quick, the seasonal laborers and part time transfer station coordinator went south on the adjustment. What was that, Eileen? I didn't hear you. It's um, on the 4324 section, ending in 120. Oh, part-time wages, you're down in the transfer station. You're down in the transfer station, huh? Yeah. That was something you had proposed? Steve, and town manager took it out? He raised Actually, it. Actually, he, he, he increased it. Raised it. it. Um, well, the requested amount was $16,647, and the town manager increased that line item to 17800 Okay. If you look on page 115. So how many part-time positions is this? One. So one part-time laborer and? We have one part-time um, transfer station coordinator that works on the weekends. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have some seasonal help there as well. We have one person as seasonal help. OK, so this line is how many people? Part-time wages is one, he said. Mm -hmm. Part-time yeah. wages would oh. just be one person. But it's two total. It's seasonal too. Well, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. How many one people in, in that line? So it's one okay, laborer, yeah. and it's one part-time one part coordinator. No. Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. That's what I wanted to know. I don't have any more questions. Seasonable laborer, not laborers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just wanted to know how many people we were talking about. Mike? Well said. Okay. Tim? The uh, five 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 zero 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 on the tipping fee. You said that was based on some estimates. Did I get that correctly? No, well, a guesstimate. At this point, it, I, I honed it down into. If you look at 2013, 548,000. Okay, and then I added on the 1.5 CPI, which brought it up to a certain amount, and then I also know <coughs> or feel. That we're going to get a slight increase in the cost anyway, so I just average it out to five five uh, five hundred and fifty-five thousand. Thank you. No more. No more questions. Okay. No questions. No questions. None. All set. Yeah. All right. So the number moved and seconded is one million fifty-eight thousand five hundred and seventy-nine. Am I correct on that? One seventy-nine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Five I, there was one further question that was not asked or answered, and that was on the overtime. The overtime <clears throat> wages were zero in 011, 78,000 in 012, <clears throat> that had been rising and leveling out at that level. Was there a policy change, Keith, here, where we had people working regular shifts on Saturdays and Sundays and getting regular shift pays? We shifted away from that and paid time and a half for overtime on Saturday and Sunday. Was there a shift that way? No, that's been that way for a number of years since I've been here, where they have full-time employees working overtime at the um, transfer station to co for coverage. For Saturdays and Sundays? For Saturdays and Sundays. So why don't we have a regular shift for Saturdays and Sundays and not have to pay overtime? Then we'd have to add people. 
and the right. benefits. No, I mean, you know, you just tell the guys not to come in on Monday and Tuesday. Come in on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. way. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. It's a union contract that prevents that. I don't know that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. That's it. Everybody ready to vote? Yep. All those in favor of moving the number. <coughs> Opposed? I'm, I'm abstaining on this as well. All right, we're almost done, kids. All right.